Episode 13, At Inches. When I tried to get a bigger penis, at inches. When I tried to get a bigger penis, question. Dot who actually tried penile enlargement methods, how's was your experience? Answer. Dot if you are asking how to make your own penis larger, your options are kind of limited. Penis size is determined largely by genetics. A penis is usually proportional to the rest of the body. Traumatic damage in some medical conditions, for example, hormone imbalances and vascular diseases, can prevent it from growing to the full size it can be. If you are a teenager, under 18 1. Wait. Maybe you aren't fully grown. 2. If it's smaller than your pinky, you may have a problem. See a urologist. Point 3. Do not use any mechanical devices, weights, pumps, or exercises. You are more likely to damage your little friend than to enhance him. If you are over 20 years old. Point 1. Most likely, what you got is what you got. Learn to live with it. Point 2. If you're desiring a larger penis size but not sure about how to go about it, this method for natural penis enlargement is based on real science. Click the link in the description below. 3. If you think there is a genuine problem, see a doctor. Listen to the doctor. Dot for everyone, 1. Pills, creams, drops, oils, and pretty much any sort of medication that is sold for penis enlargement are complete scams. None of it works. Oils and creams might make your masturbation more fun, but given the shady sources they come from, you might have an allergic reaction, or straight up poison yourself. Just buy normal lube and have at it. 2. Speaking of masturbation. It does not affect your penis size, outside of making it bigger while you do it. If you masturbate enough to cause physical damage, like torn skin or broken blood vessels, it might make it smaller, but most people don't have the arm strength and stamina to do that. It usually happens to people who use some mechanical devices. Keep your willy out of the vacuum cleaner, folks. 3. A special mention should be made of hormones. The vast majority of what you may be able to get a hold of without a prescription from the internet will be fake. See above about pills. Best case, no effect. Worst case, allergic reaction or poisoning. Should you be able to somehow lay your hands on actual hormones, you will likely be in serious trouble. Hormones can and will change your body. However, unless you know precisely what you are doing, you will make a mess of yourself. Hormonal therapy requires actual real medical knowledge. People who have it are called endocrinologists and they go to school for the stuff for many years. They also have access to lab tests to establish baselines, check progress, and make sure nothing dangerous happens. If you do hormones wrong, you risk screwing up your endocrine system, often permanently. The risks of messing with hormones involve damaging glands. How would you like to see your testicles shrink and die? Some people would be happy, but those people don't usually seek to enlarge their penis. You could also experience mental side effects, problems with blood clotting, and blood pressure. Screw up with hormones bad enough, and you will die. As in, dead. Cease to beat. Pushing up daisies. 4. Vacuum pumps are sex toys that they might make for a fun experience while you use them, but they do not enlarge a penis permanently. They also need to be used very carefully, because if you overdo it you can break blood vessels. This can cause bruises, weird misshapen penis, or, in extreme cases, bleeding, and even loss of ability to ever have an erection again. 5. Weights might make your penis a little bit longer. However, as with vacuum pumps, this is not permanent. And, as with vacuum pumps, you can overdo it, which can lead to anything from loss of ability to have an erection to literally ripping off a chunk of your dick, making it smaller than it was. People have done it. It isn't pretty, and it hurts. A lot. If you're desiring a larger penis size but afraid of getting side effects or pain, this method for natural penis enlargement is based on real science. Click the link in the description below. 6. Exercises or Fancy Masturbation if it's fun, go for it, but there will also not be any permanent effect. Stop when it hurts. Dot a penis is not a muscle. It's just a tube of skin that fills with blood. You can't exercise it any more than you can exercise your earlobe. You can stretch it, but only up to a point, punch holes in it, pull it clean off, but you can't work it to make it bigger or stronger. Kegel exercises will do good things for you, but enlarging a penis isn't one of them. 
They strengthen pelvic muscles, improving erection and bladder control, but everything stays the same size. The only thing that really works if you are a chubby guy, some of your penis is going to be hidden by the fat padding on your pubis. If you lose weight, the fat goes away and stops hiding the willy. Willy becomes free. Dot is an added bonus, people in better physical shape can last longer in bed.